so I have to stand it. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm Kaylee. I'm uh, Christy's daughter. Um, before I start, I'm really bad at reading out loud. Um, so please bear with me. Antes de comenzar, quiero tomar un momentito, así que por favor tengan paciencia. We are gathered here today in memory of my mother, Christy Fields Rodriguez, and her beloved husband, Ardencio. So that together we may acknowledge and share both our joy in the grief that her life was to us and the pain that her passing brings. In sharing the joy and the pain together today, we may lessen the pain and remember more clearly the joy. Queremos recordar a mi madre que por el dolor que ahorita estamos pasando por su partida. Queremos también este, recordar los momentos que ella nos trajo con mucho cariño y amor. My mom was only 43 years old when she passed away unexpectedly with her husband, Antencio Rodriguez, on the yearly anniversary camping trip. Mi mamá tenía 43 años y se fue con su esposo, Audencio Rodriguez, a un campamento para celebrar su celebración de aniversario. She was born to my grandma, Barbara McFarland, and Duane Fields in Ann Arbor, Michigan, on February 12, 1979. Nació en 1979 en Ann Arbor, Michigan. El febrero 12 de 1979. Thinking back on my mother's stories of her childhood, I would also like to thank my Aunt Jane and my Uncle Craig for playing such a big part in raising my mom to be the woman I knew her. Soy agradecido a mis tíos que criaron a mi madre y por darle la buena educación que ella tuvo. It's hard to say goodbye. We wish that we had more time with you both, and perhaps during the time that we had, we had spent more of the time, more of the time together. Es difícil con la partida de no haber pasado tiempos gratos con con mi madre y con su esposo con la partida nos ha quedado un hueco we wish that so much of her life has not been lost so soon while we know that she is at peace and that her struggles are at an end there is a pain and sadness sabemos que ya no está con dolor ni con, con pruebas ni luchas y sabemos que ahorita ya está descansando but even though she's gone she has left a legacy of her love and perseverance. The way she touched our lives will always remain with us, and I ask you to keep those memories alive by sharing them with me and, and one another. One of the most important things in my mom's life was going on adventures. She took great pride in all of her rocks and the clamshells that she collected. Una de las cosas que le gustaba a mi madre era acampar, a subir sobre las rocas, de todo lo que tenía que ver con las salidas hacia afuera. Y es una mujer muy perseverante. It takes patience to find the perfect one to add to her collection. The beauty and the satisfaction of seeing the collection grow from where it started when we, as kids, would hand her pretty rocks and ask her what they were, not knowing that she kept them. Cuando estábamos pequeños le dábamos piedras hermosas a mi madre y ella podía reconocerlas y ella nos enseñó la colección que ella tenía a través de los años. There's a peacefulness that can come over us every time we see another rock or clam shell and think of her. I think that those little adventures that my mom would always go on was her way of letting the inner child out that always craved to go. Las aventuras que mi madre tomaba era para hacer memorias y siempre las vamos a recordar a través de todo lo que ella vivió. My mom is survived by us for kids, Taylor, Hannah, Aiden, and myself, as well as other relatives and friends. A mi madre la sobreviven cuatro hijos, que es Aiden, Aiden, Taylor, Taylor, Hannah, and your name? Kate. Kate. This family and her role as a grand, a mother and a grandmother was the most important thing to my mom. There, 
This is where she grew her strength and left her legacy. Being with her family was what she enjoyed most of all. Mi madre dejó hijos, nietos, y dejó un legado que va a perseverar a, pers a, perseverar a través de los años. Her life, her life had many obstacles, yet through it all, her love and care for her family remained her focus. And in so many, many ways, she was able to show that love to all of us. The perseverance through adversity is a powerful lesson for us, and I believe it is her legacy. La perseverancia por las pruebas que atravesó mi madre la hizo una mujer fuerte. Su perseverancia fue una gran lección para nuestras vidas. What a wonderful lesson she gave to us. Keep your priorities straight. Nos dio una poderosa lección de mantener nuestras prioridades correctas. Keep that which is most important in focus. Mantener lo que es más importante y enfocarnos. Love and care for you, care for your family. Ama y cuida tu familia. Let them know in all ways that you can show them that you love them. Saber que los todo el Don't let adversities or setbacks or any of the distractions in the world keep you from doing what's more, what the most important aspect of life is. No dejes que los obstáculos se atraviesen a través de lo que es más importante, las prioridades de la vida, que es amar. Many people in this world have had it so much easier than our mom did. Many have never faced half of the trouble that she has faced. Muchas personas atraviesan uh, obstáculos como mi madre, o no, tan grande como los de ella. Los obstáculos que ella enfrentó. And yet to lose so, sight so easily of what's truly important no perdió de vista lo que era realmente importante. Many of us get distracted by the insignificant things in life. Many of us focus on our little problems and forget what's really most important. Muchos de nosotros nos desenfocamos por cosas, obstáculos pequeñas en nuestra vida y se nos olvida lo que es importante. Trust me, I called my mom for any insignificant problem that I've ever had, and she always had the answer. My mom was my doctor and my superhero, my biggest influence, my best friend, and the best mom I could ever ask for. Créanme, yo le hablaba en cada momento a mi madre por cualquier cosa tan insignificante, pero ella siempre tenía la lección y las palabras para darme para perseverar. But through everything that Christy went through, she managed to keep her priorities straight. Por todo lo que atravesó Christy, ella mantuvo sus prioridades enfocadas. What can be more important than loving and showing your love for your family? Que puede ser más importante que amar y querer a tu familia. This is a wonderful legacy. This is a wonderful example to follow. Esto fue una, un legado maravilloso, algo ejemplo a seguir. Keep focused on what is truly important, not only when your life is easy, but when it is difficult too. Mantén tu enfoque aunque la vida sea difícil o sea fácil. Knowing how much her family meant to her and also how she loved those adventures, I think it was such a special blessing that just before she passed away, my mom, Christy, was able to spend her final moments camping with the man of her dreams. No de dejemos de olvidar que ella hizo todo lo que quiso cuando fue a acampar. Ella vivió una vida ejemplar y nos mostró a los últimos momentos de, de su vida que podemos perseverar y ser felices. The love she showed to us, to all of us, will live on with us even now that she is going to be with God. El amor que ella sintió por nosotros, que nos mostró, va a vivir para siempre en nuestros corazones. On behalf of myself and the rest of the family, I'd like to thank you all for coming here today in remembrance of both Christy and Audencio Rodriguez. Les doy las gracias de mi parte de mi familia, mis hermanos, por haber estado aquí con nosotros en este momento. My mom also kept something that my uh, grandpa that also helped raise her um, forever ago. And it's just a little piece of paper from a magazine. 
and it says, Our business in life is not to succeed, but to continue to fail in good spirits. That quote. Algo que le dejó mi abuelo a mi madre fue un pedacito de, de, de revista que dice, Nuestro negocio en la vida no es, no es salir adelante, sino continuar a caer con espíritus buenos. That quote is something that my mom had to work really hard to find and learn. But I'm really happy to say that in the end she did. Mi madre siempre luchó por buscar lo que este papelito decía y lo logró a través de su vida. Thank you. Gracias.